Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 is heading to the live servers today, says CIG through the message of the day. It literally says we're intending to roll out 319 onto the live environment later this evening, attempting another zero downtown deployment when it's ready. We are not intending to wipe long-term persistence going into 319, but to do so, we have to save a snapshot of the live long-term persistent up to this point and have to save a long-term persistence on the current 318.2 until we release the update. So that is great news. So that's what we're going to be getting this evening. Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 finally. So on a high level, I want to quickly go over what we should expect in terms of features and updates in the 3.19 build if you are not aware of them yet. Mining balancing version 01 is one of the things that we're going to be getting. This means they're making an update on all the modules, all of the mining heads, and um, all of the subcomponents. Everything is being updated and all going to behave a little bit different from what we previously had in 3.18.2. So mining itself, it has become something more uh, lucrative in terms of those that own moles, right? Multi-crew mining is going to be a great thing to do because you can make a lot of money. Also, this includes larger rocks. This includes more challenging rocks for not only for prospectors, multiple prospectors, moles, and multiple moles. These are going to be a thing and it's huge. So mining in 319 is going to be huge. Before we move on, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of May. This time it's a game package for the 100i. In order to participate, all you got to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of May. Let's move on. Up next is a new player experience. For those that are new to Star Citizen, there's going to be a new player experience which will take place in Area 18 or allow players to experience some of the basic mechanics about the game and allow them to get easily introduced into some of the mechanics that uh, wasn't so straightforward when we first got involved. Up next is the salvage contracts, right? So we're going to be offered salvage contracts which allow you to buy the rights to a location and be able to go there and salvage their um, whatever vehicle that is there to make some money, right? So there'll be different variants. There's going to be lawful, lawless, and unlawful ones. These are very lucrative. These are awesome. The Ghost Hollow Reclaimer PvP mission is going to be also a thing, which involves a comrade extracting money from terminals and causing players to fight over the money, essentially. Up next is the Laurelville Skyline 2.0. Laurelville has been updated and it looks awesome. If you haven't seen the videos already, you can check out some of my previous videos. It's, it's awesome. You should check it out the next time you log into Star Citizen Alpha 3.19. Tractor beam tier 0.5 attaching and detaching. We can now attach and detach components and weapons on the fly now up to I believe size 3 or size 4 and um, it's great. So this, this means when you go do salvage ships you can also grab the weapons and sell the weapons and components as well. So this is huge. It's huge for those that are involved with salvaging because it's more money on the table and it's also great for those that can find some really cool items they can actually attach to their ships to help improve its performance so that's huge in and itself they've also done some updates on the density manager where it's going to be a little bit more aggressive on missions in terms of removing mission items once the mission is over so when players leave a certain site the density manager will despawn those items in order to maintain great performance on the server they've also added the corsair cutter and the car pisces into the game shop for you to purchase in game you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video